house that he built over 80 years ago and left for his wife. In the recent years, though, that house has fallen into disrepair. Now, community volunteers are coming to the widow's rescue, armed with hammers, nails, and a purpose to help out. Channel 2's Roseanne Aragon has more on this heartwarming story. This woman's husband built this home behind me more than 80 years ago. Today, it's all hands on deck to restore it and to give this woman a gift she'll never forget. It's an act of love that doesn't need words. Just hands, helping hands. And we're working on a Rebuilding Together Houston project where we're doing improvements and maintenance and repairs to the house of a wonderful lady, Miss Theodora Brown. A now 97-year-old woman with a spirit as tough as nails. That's my husband. Her husband, an Army veteran serving for decades, built this home around 1930. He took time to build it all, so did a little hammering with it myself. Now she's leaving all the hammering to ExxonMobil's veteran advocacy and support team, who's partnering with nonprofit Rebuilding Together Houston to restore her home. They're making sure the entire house is watertight, no water can get in, then they're going to prime everything, and then they're going to paint it colors that she herself has chosen. Let's do it. Veteran Chris Hart makes it a point to help others who served. It's a lot of teamwork. He brought seven of his children Saturday. It's just something I love to do. Caulking, painting, reciting, and more. I want her again to have a, have a nice, safe place to live and a place that she can be proud of, as proud of it as she was when her husband built it. And after turning 97 just last week, she says this warrants a lifetime of gratitude. Looking at my home, husband work, and how much time he put into this work, and then. It just makes me feel good to see it being restored. Her son, who considered his dad a hero, couldn't agree more. He's looking down now, and he's smiling because he can see that his work wasn't in vain. Now, volunteers tell me her home should be finished by next week. Mrs. Brown says she couldn't be more thankful for all of this help. In Northeast Houston, Roseanne Aragon, KPRC, Channel 2 News.